Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. That's something that, that Google added back in Android 5 to where when you do a factory reset to a device without first taking off the Google account that's on it, it'll ask you to log into that same account after the reset as a security feature. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Express Prime, originally from AT&T. I don't know how well that's going to show up there on the back, so we'll jump into the settings and take a look at everything after we're done here. But this is one that does have the Google account lock enabled. So as we're going through the setup process here, we get to the screen that says that the account or the, uh, the phone needs to be verified with the Google account that was on it previous to the reset. We're making this video to let all of our clients know that this is one of the devices that we're able to remove the lock from, and that's actually something where we've done 95% of the work already. So we can see that it's still on the screen there. I'll just have to restart the phone once to finish up the process, and then after that, we should be able to see that we are able to skip through that whole setup process. So give it just a second to run through and do the restart here. Got the Galaxy screen there that shows first, of course. Actually, I won't need the cable anymore. And then the Samsung logo, AT&T symbol, any day now. I swear, sometimes the smallest phones take the longest to turn back on. All right, there we go. So there's our welcome screen. So that's obviously the first screen that you see after a device has been reset. So we're going to go ahead and start skipping through the process here. We're just going to skip through the Wi-Fi. Terms and conditions. We need to agree to those. Blah, blah, blah. And we're going to skip through adding a name, adding a screen lock, and that's good because we were never able to get to those screens before. So now we're going to keep going through, skip the Google services, and oh, we're going to skip AT&T's setup and transfer application, skip the Samsung, so many things to skip. Okay. We are almost there. I'm going to wait for Google here to finish doing something. There we go. Okay, so there is our home screen. We can now access all the apps and features, and the lock has been successfully bypassed. Let me jump into the settings here and show you exactly which model this is. So under About Device, we can see that we do have a J320A. So it is in the J3 series, but AT&T calls this an Express Prime, technically. So if you have an AT&T Galaxy Express Prime and need to get the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has everything there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're here too to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.